The 2012 high school football season is proving that any week can be rivalry week. Onaway and Roger City faced off in a battle of Presque Isle County back in week two. Him and Atlanta don't meet until October. And tomorrow night, Oscoda and Talos gear up for the annual War on the Shore. The Owls and Braves have both struggled this season, but as Travis Kozak explains, this game hasn't lost any of its luster. I don't care if we lose every game. This is a game that I want to win. You know, we're not making any bones about it. We want to beat them. We want to beat them more than any team on our schedule. For Oscoda and Tawas, there's no bigger game on the schedule. And with the 2012 edition of the War on the Shore just days away, there's no shortage of excitement on either side. We're getting out here earlier and we're actually wanting to practice this week. And we'll stay the extra half hour of coach it wants us to and work on that extra stuff. If it means we get to beat Oscoda. We have been going 100% in practice, which honestly, it's, it's rare when we do that all the time, but this week, I think I've seen it more than ever. The Owls and Braves have a combined record of 1-7 and seven this season, but when these squads meet, records don't matter. I mean, it would still be a war out there, and we'd still hate each other just as much and still think we just have as much chance to win. I'm not going to say for one second, oh, they're an 0-14, you know, this is, we got a shot at knocking somebody out. And this team is going to come out and they're going to roll on us if they can. The game will be decided between the Owls and Braves on Friday night. As for the rivalry, that goes well beyond the football field. And we know that there's a, there's a lot riding on this game because of the, the communities that are involved. I hear it all the time from people that have played on the Towers team and have already graduated. I hear it from people where I work. I hear it from pretty much everywhere. Parents, everyone. Businesses, everyone wants us to beat them. It's everyone in the whole town, everyone's going to be at the game, so they're there expecting us to win. And when the rivalry renews on Friday, there will be no shortage of confidence on either side. We are going to win this game. It's not going to be close, but it's going to be it's gonna be a hard-fought battle, but with us demolishing the scoreboard. They're going to ride up here, uh, and they're going to be hooping and hollering, and we're going to slap them out, they're going to get on the bus, and they're going to sleep on the way home. Travis Kozak, WBKB Sports.